Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Walking Dead. And, uh, yeah, so now we're here to look for the Clementine. Uh, I'm a bit worried, just in case. Let me check the bathroom, which is the most possible. Th that's the most Clementine, worst. You here? That's the most worst place to search. Bathroom, really? Clem? What is this? Bedroom? Alright, uh. Well, Omid is in the bedroom. Ain't got time for that. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Definitely not in the bathroom. Bedroom door. I don't think that's where I came out of. Did I? Was I? Did Hello? I come out? Molly? What the hell? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? At least that's useful information, at least. Alright, let's go downstairs, guys. Girls. Uh, huh. What the hell? I'm in the bathroom again? Alright, let's get out of here. Gotta rush. I don't know why. This music is making me feel like I need to go fast. Or something Clem? bad happened. Clementine? Let's go downstairs. Clementine! Come out! Please! Really? Kenny? Ben? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Drinking till he dies. Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Where's Clementine still? Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? I have a feeling she's outside, in the backyard. Really, Ben? No, Ben. Ben, stay sober, dude. Where's Clementine? Have either of you seen Clementine? He's Damn drunk. if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. I knew it! I knew own. it! With no one watching her? I Man, just knew will it. Will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. It's true, Ben. Because right now there's a guy who wants her right now. There's a guy who wants to take her. This is bad. This is really bad. The music is intense. Clementine? Clementine! Where the fudge did she go? Did she go inside the shed? Let's check the shed. Because the shed's the most dangerous. That's the most easiest place. I would say. Alright. Uh, so let's check. Let's see the fences. Maybe the doghouse? Because that's the last place I can look for. She's not in there, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to remember the grave a little bit. What the hell? She's not here! What the hell? What's going on here? Clementine's gone, what the freak? 
She's not here. What? Oh, let me see the shrub. I'm worried for her and she's not even here. That's fantastic. Oh, I see it. What the hell happened back here? Can I go inside and stuff? Can I open the door? Knew it. I just knew it. I see a vent. Let's open it. All right, this is bad, but uh, and if she's been bitten, oh man, that's the worst story ever. I would ever. See. Oh, it is coming team. What the fudge? Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. What? Weapons? Food? A lot of food. Please be a lot of food and medicine. Oh, it's a boat. Oh, crap. We have hope. Whoa. I know, right? Kenny? You have hope now. <laughs> oh man, this is happy. A happy moment. Nobody thought about looking in the shed. Now we do. The freak. But the only problem is getting it to the sea, to the waters. So it's gonna be a little difficult. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Bugs Bunny. I wonder why why the doctor's still here and we should we should take him back. Old Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Mm, sure. Well, I mean, she's a really good asset. You want the good news or the bad news? Bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Alright. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. It's true. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. But we might get shot. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city oh, who are still alive, crap. who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? Yes. But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? No, I don't want to suggest killing anything. There might anything. actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, yeah. actually. I still carry it. <laughs> what the freak? I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Reminds me of season three, Walking Dead. I'm not kidding. 
It's like I've with the governor and stuff. Before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? I'm pretty sure Ben's gonna die. I don't know. We I just have this tonight, feeling. Under cover of dark, I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I have a feeling that we're gonna lose at least one or two characters by the end of this episode. I told you to stay in your room. And gain more characters. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Going out there. Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? If they're telling me to shoot I guys, I can't do it. Die. <laughs> no one else is gonna die. I promise. You can't promise that. Yeah, because it's always gonna happen. We cannot avoid the inevitable. No, I guess I can't. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? <sighs> Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Then who's gonna take care of Omid? Okay. Whatever. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. And do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. Well, she needs experience and stuff but at the same time every choices are bad you know and you can't avoid the unavoidable unavoidable <laughs> unavoidable you can't avoid that people will die and that's what they're trying to create out of this zombie apocalypse kind of thing oh man hope i'm making a good decision Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, Interesting. You, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Bobby. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have to serious. let go one of them. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Yeah, we're gonna have to let go one of those two people. No, two of these people. Who the people. hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Scaven Molly should be our. Uh, if, if we had a sniper rifle, she would be the best type, and then she could hold just climb just everywhere. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her, 
This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. I don't want to bring her, but I have to. To, to make her feel supported. I gotta give support to her, you know? Plus, no one's gonna protect her besides me. Everyone else is just ignorant to the child. Especially Ben. Ignorant. Every time. And then Krista is already worried about Omid, so she can't keep her eyes on her this forever. Be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Yeah. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. All we right. stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Yeah. And that part about staying close, it goes double for you. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a crazy little thing. Oh, wait, can I look at it? Can't get a good look above with the cover on. All right. Okay, check. Okay, let's check it out. Let's go. It seems empty. Real empty. All right. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Must be they moved what? on. Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay, me and Kenny will sneak out, trying to take him out quiet. The I feel sad. I I had to save in the over. wrong part. Everybody got it. Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Oh great, he has a sniper rifle. Nice. I don't want to kill you, mate, but I have to. Do I have to... What the oh, fuck? it's a walker. What the fudge? Alright, good. That means they're all dead. Like an all-out war, I bet. They had an all-out war and they killed each other or something. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Watch Get out. inside, fast! Watch out, watch out. Let's go, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but apparently maybe, maybe some of them got something. Somebody got attacked and then they just... Oh man, that's a big surprise. That means Crawford is dead or down. Oh, crap! <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me. I thought that was like a. Uh... Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, what my bad. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. They might have some remaining supplies. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb, they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. At least we know that there's no resistance for us now. I agree. Now. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? That's the choice left, Ben. Come on. I think I know which way to head. Alright. I got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, I do. I have that bad feeling too. Either ways, we gotta watch her back or watch her front also. There's walkers around too, inside the rooms. The X maybe tells us that there's walkers in there. Just keep moving. Here. Be careful. The 
looks okay. Everybody in. All right. So this operation is going crazy. Call this operation sneak your ass inside Crawford. <laughs> Locked. Damn. Oh, they had a game plan. What the freak? Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Armory. But we need to look for a key. Here. Just give me a sec. What is it? Can't see it correctly. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? First. Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? She was here Just before. Makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? Pretty the motor pool, pretty much. There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So that's the longest well, way. Well, then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's what? enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. Where's Clementine? I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Where's Clementine Be going with? Careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Clementine, are you coming along with us? What about me? What can I do? I don't know. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Yeah, You're because leaving Ben. leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? It's the other way around. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's the other way around now. <laughs> before you know. If Ben gets, if Ben opens that door, uh, to the armory, then I'll keep him for the boat. For these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Honestly, I think it depends on who who works the most in order to get on the boat to get out of here. Uh, does, doesn't count Omid's because Maybe. because I think Omid deserves to no be on problem. the boat either ways. No TV. He was injured before, so I feel sympathy or, or pity. I don't know. Either ones. So, and the, it counts hey, Lee and Clementine. Thanks. I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow. No need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What? What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Yeah, he should I tell agree. him. I agree. <clears throat> I should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. 
What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I don't think he'll ever hear it. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Ben's a little pissed off still. Alright, uh, let's see what's the pamphlets. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Uh. TMR. Citizens found. Seems off. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what. When we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Everybody always worry about homework. Yeah. Everyone Do does. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Not sure. I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. That was sad. She's, she, she referenced her like she was dead. So it's a bad thing. Let me see, actually. Let me just take a look at the map first. So according to Bree... Fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Mm hmm. Let me see, what is that? Fire escape? Nurse office? Door to playground. Now the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Uh, the fire the escape? The entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere. That would be the place to look. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Man, this is gonna be crazy. Alright, so this is the end of the part, you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like down below. Comment down below if you want to say anything. Subscribe to become uh, a buddy of mine. <laughs> I don't know. Subscribe to become my friend, I guess. Uh, and check down in the description box down below to look for some further information or website links to places that might get to know me better, something like that. And then if you guys like the music down in the description box below, you can check it out there too. And hope to see you in the next part. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Ross out. I'm not dead yet. I'm not even close. Keep running. If both ways are blocked, then we jump on the trash can and get up there, I guess. Oh. Alright. Oh man, this is intense. This is intense. Ah!